And this is what we're looking at inside. Uh -uh. Wait, wait, no, 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 don't move it. It's gonna make the whole thing collapse. The whole center area has collapsed down. And I can see pieces of um, the wall have broken off. So I'm gonna have to go in there and try to secure it. Nick, you're gonna have to stay out here. I don't want you in there in case what happens. It falls. It could completely come down, so. Look what I did with the bamboo stick and the machete. Wow, good balancing. That's a really good balancing job. All right. So, this is the current status of the yurt. Yeah. All right, it looks like uh, the fronds got soaking wet and got really heavy and brought the roof down. I just went inside and tried to lift it up and it's too heavy. So these fronds <laughs> might have not been the best idea. It did help to hold things down and camouflage everything, but the problem is um, they are also extremely heavy, and I think they got more heavy when it rained, and it ended up making the whole roof uh, structure collapse. You can see pieces of the beaming are all broken. So at this point, I'm not sure what I have to do here. I may have to, um, I'm going to try to remove the front and, and um, flip the roof back up from the inside if I can, if I can find some new beams. If that's not possible, it looks like we're going to have to tear down the, um, the roofing and maybe start all over from scratch. As, as you can see, I am removing fronds from the roof to try to lighten the load so I can try to invert the, uh, the roofing back up. So fronds on the roofing, uh, definitely not that good an idea. It brought the whole roof down. All right, as you can see, uh, it's been about um, 30, 40 minutes later. Nick and I, what did we do, Nick? Uh, we worked. Are you tired? Yeah. Was this easy or kind of hard? Pretty hard. Yeah, why was it so hard? Because there was like 50 million of them. <laughs> you see the piles over there, piles over here, piles over here. All these fronds were up there. Are we going to put fronds back up there? No, no, no. That ended up being a terrible idea because the fronds held water and more fronds fell down during the storm and I guess it got really heavy and the whole roof collapsed. So we're going to see if we can't um, get it back up. I'm going to have to try to find some extended poles to see if I can't, um, can't get um, the roof to stay back up. Otherwise, we've got to rip everything apart and start over. Oh boy. Thanks to the help of my. Oh shit! <laughs> I'll say thanks to the help of my awesome son, we were able to get the roofing back up and we're getting ready to make it steady, but I thought I'd take a moment to film. So I'm not going to be able to film until we secure the building because you can see what just happened. Um, we had made a temporary pole and you can see it snapped just in half because the roof is pretty heavy. So I'm going to try it again um, and. Um, well, we tried. We'll try again. One more round. This is round two of our repair. Thanks to my awesome son. See how sweaty we both are right now? How hard was this? Really hard. Yeah. And you can hear me out of breath here because this thing weighs a ton. I had to push the roof up. Nick had to hold up the beams while we taped it together. And I ended up taping a whole bunch together, as you can see. So it's a bit... Stronger than before. Oh, yeah, he's got still... on his bed. Yeah, Nick was asking if uh, an animal had come here, but I think those berries, they actually, I think, come from the palm trees. So, I don't think an animal came up here and pooed up here. I think it came from the palm tree that's been falling. But um, the yurt, for the most part, is still up. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to do some repairs here. Luckily, we have plenty of fronds. Or unluckily, because it is the fact that they were fronds, <laughs> which is why it collapsed. Those fronds aren't very strong. So, we're going to try to do some repairs. Uh, I don't even think I'm going to finish it today. I'm just exhausted. Me too. And we were going to paint the, um, the roof of the van, but we're going to hold off on that because we are just wiped out. I'm going to try to clean up a little bit, secure the roofing a little bit better, and we're going to call it a day over here. Wow, what a day. All right, this is how we're going to end up leaving the, um, the yurt. For this time and I won't be able to come back here for a while because I still have Nick for the rest of this week 
Um, this was a lot of work. We've been here for what, about two hours, three hours? Trying to repair the roofing, it had collapsed. I had put in some new ribbing, you can see here, where old ribbing had um, broken, I put new ones. I didn't do the whole thing because I'm just tired, Nick's tired, we're ready to leave. We only have one pole holding everything up and it's a pretty wide one here. We put a bunch of beams together. Hopefully it's strong enough that it'll hold it up. Without the um, fronds up there, I'm hoping that it doesn't get too heavy. You can see our tile got all broken here. Um, it's about as secure as we can make it for now, given our energy level, because it is really hot out here. And um, where water had leaked in, I've got to dry all these components. So we're gonna bring them back in here to dry, seal up the yurt. And I don't know, I can't really tell out here. So you can see it's not, the, the roofing is still kind of messed up. It's still kind of weak. So I'm definitely gonna have to come here and spend a day or two just working on the roofing to try to reinforce everything. Luckily the walls held up. The wall did not collapse, although I can see a broken rib over here. You can see parts of the wall did kind of collapse. So the structure did hold up considering that it was really bad. The weather was really bad yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Even where we were in Melbourne. So it must have been really rough out here. Um, but we managed to rescue the yurt. It's not totaled. It just needs to be renovated, I guess. It didn't even get open for business yet and it fell apart. So luckily nobody was in it when the roof collapsed. That would have been scary. Anyhow, um, I'm gonna go ahead. Unless some random people or like some random hobo. Yeah, but I doubt it. It was still sealed, so I don't think anyone was here. I'm gonna bring all the components in here and let them dry in here, and versus leaving them outside. And then um, we're gonna clean up and then head back out. Huge hole right there. I don't know if you can see it there by that tree right there. That's some animal's den. It's a home for something. I'm wondering if it's the home for the visitor who's been coming to the yard every day. I don't know how long that den's been there, if it was there before me or after me, but there is a definite hole over there, a pretty decent sized hole. It's about a, almost a foot wide. And it's right by the yurt. So that might be the residence of our um, animal. <laughs> What's my chance of getting rid of them now? Yeah, he lives right at the yurt. He lives right here in the bushes. So, I hope, he I hope he's friendly. Anyhow, um, maybe we. Ate mothballs. Yep, maybe he ate all the mothballs. Maybe he got rid of the mothballs so they were stinking up his home. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe. <laughs> well, we're going to clean up. I got the fence back up. I got the yurt mostly together. I'm bringing in components to just let it sit and dry. Um, I'm going to leave it like this so it can all air out and dry. And then um, I'm going to call it a day. It's like uh, we are so exhausted right now. It is so hot. Anyhow, until next time, everybody, have a good day now.